The Corps of Discovery started off when Thomas Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Territory from Napoleon Bonaparte for $15 million in 1803. 828,000 square miles were transferred over from the French to the United States. The main goal of the Louisiana Purchase was to regain the port of New Orleans. First, Jefferson offered up $2 million and that was rejected, but when he offered up $10 million, the French accepted. With New Orleans, the French also added in the rest of the Louisiana Territory for just an extra $5 million. This basically doubled the land that the U.S. had owned before adding what ended up being 15 new states, including Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, Minnesota, Missouri, Louisiana, Colorado, Wyoming, South Dakota, Oklahoma, Nebraska, North Dakota, Texas, and New Mexico. With all this new territory, Thomas Jefferson needed someone to go explore it and record down what the new areas looked like and what they had to offer. Jefferson appointed Meriwether Lewis to lead this expedition. Lewis had chosen one of his friends from the army, William Clark, to join him as his partner and map maker. Lewis immediately began preparing for the journey ahead of him. He studied botany, astronomy, zoology, and methods of medicine that would come in handy if his men got sick. He also packed gifts to give to the Native American tribes as a sign of peace. These gifts included beads, tobacco, knives, and face paint. On May 14, 1803, 33 men, including Lewis and Clark, set off on the journey from St. Louis, Missouri to explore the Louisiana Territory and hopefully find the Northwest Passage. They started their journey going up the Missouri River into what is now North and South Dakota. Since they pulled their boats upstream, they made just 15 miles per day. With the heat and amounts of danger that were happening around them, such as the chance of attack by Native Americans or animals, it made the trip very miserable. By November, they had reached what was near modern-day Washburn, North Dakota, and set up camp just a few miles away from a friendly Mandan village on the Missouri River. During the five months they spent here, they prepared for the rest of the trip to come. They spent their time hunting, foraging, and making clothes and shoes for their journey. Probably the most important thing that helped their survival was the joining of Sacagawea into their group who would help by translating, being an ambassador figure, and helping with the navigation of the expedition. Once the cold had left, so did the Corps of Discovery. They went through the Rocky Mountains and for a brief moment met up with Sacagawea's brother, who she hadn't seen since she was kidnapped. They also bought horses from the Shoshone tribes and were making better time than ever before. Over a year since they built Fort Mandan, they had reached modern-day Astoria, Oregon, and decided to make camp for the winter there. They ended up making Fort Clatsop. They started building it on December 10th and moved in by Christmas 1805. The winter was brutal on the Corps of Discovery. Almost everyone was sick and the supplies were running out, but they managed to push through and they started their journey home. On March 23rd, 1806, the Corps of Discovery left Fort Clatsop to go home. Lewis and Clark split up for a short time on the way home. Lewis's group took a path to the north of Great Falls and explored Maria's River while Clark's group went along the Yellowstone River. The Missouri and Yellowstone River met up in North Dakota, which was the point where they had decided to meet back up. Along the Yellowstone River, Clark and Sacagawea saw what is now called Pompey's Pillar, and Clark carved his name and date into the large rock. In all, Lewis and Clark and the rest of their men traveled about 8,000 miles. That's like going coast to coast in modern day America three times in a straight line. During their expedition, they discovered 174 plant species, including Indian tobacco, creeping juniper, and pin cherry. With this, they also discovered 134 species of animals, including the grizzly bear, pronghorn, common poor will, and a blue catfish. Although they didn't discover the Northwest Passage, they still had one of the most important discovery trips in history. With over 300 new plant and animal species discovered, 
Lewis and Clark will be some of the greatest explorers ever.